Hey guys, I'm the Jane here. For a change of pace, you get to see me start my bike and actually, well, what I mean is start at my starting location. Usually, wherever I am, I ride a block or two and then start to record. Uh, we are. Yeah, you're good. We are in the Philippines. This is my first time. Well, I rode for two minutes to get gas. This is my first time really riding in the Philippines. There's a town nearby, we're gonna head there. I don't have a... Uh, uh, I'm wearing a half helmet, I don't have a visor, so... But believe it or not, these fa COVID face masks are windproof, so I'm guessing you can hear me pretty clearly even though it's noisy as heck for my ears. My wife, who is Filipino, we're here visiting my in-laws for the very first time. They're, they're, they're getting to meet their grandson for the very first time ever. And uh, if you don't know anything about Filipino families, they're very close. It's like this, you know, Spanish, Filipino, they're all about la familia. Like, it's really sad how Westerners in general are kind of like, once, once, once you hit 18, it's, it's like you say goodbye to your parents. I'm exaggerating, but not by much and not in comparison to uh, Spanish and Filipino family. Well, just Asia, Asia in general, right? Like in Taiwan and most most Asian countries, when their parents get elderly, they move in with the kids and kids care for them until they die. Like old folks' homes are, 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 are a bit rare in Asia. So, yeah, uh, my impressions of the Philippines so far, it's pretty much what I expected. It's, it's more beautiful than I thought it would be. I enjoy it. I, my expectations were really low coming here. Like I, in, in my head, I'm like, it's gonna suck. So anything that's better than sucking, I'll be happily. But yeah, I, I, the city was interesting. It was a, there's a little bit of, a lot of people say there's danger here, but the foreigners that I've met, that I've talked to here, um, you know, they, they go walking and they, 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 in the city. They say that the different, the trick is it's daytime versus nighttime. They say in the daytime you can pretty much go anywhere, but at nighttime you, 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 you want to be back in your hotel room. Because people do have guns here and, and they have extreme poverty. So yeah guns combined with extreme poverty and, and you get you get muggings you get kidnappings you get murders i remember I, I had a filipino tour guest once in taiwan and he he told me that somebody like ratted him out about something and he was considering having them killed and then he said to me like matter of factly he goes you can have anyone in the philippines killed for about uh, I forget how much it was, but it wasn't much money. He's like, like a few, a few thousand American dollars, but it was just kind of matter of fact. And it was like, and I've, I've mentioned that to other people and they're like, yeah, that's true. But like, you have to keep in mind that the average Filipino doesn't ever have like a few extra grand lying around. So you would need to be a somewhat wealthy Filipino to begin with. And then, if you wanted someone dead, it's just a matter of a few thousand American dollars. You know, the, co the cost of an airplane ticket and you can have someone wiped off the earth. Uh, what else? So, yeah. I think the, the, the nicest thing is also stepchildren. I should explain that a bit. I've explained it before. My wife has three children that she raised in the Philippines, but they're not hers. Um, they're her older sisters, but her older sister had them when she was like 17 or 18 or something. And then she didn't want the responsibility of taking care of kids. So she just kind of ran away from home. And then my wife took on the responsibility of raising these kids back when she was like 15, 16 years old. 
So between the age of like 15 and 18 years old, my wife was taking care of newborns up until the point they were like three-ish. Uh, yeah I'm kind of tired I'm kind of sick oh uh, this is crazy like I'm breaking my record well we'll see we'll see like we'll see how I am to tonight because I have not been sick like and I mean that very literally I haven't been sick in nine years over over nine years like not one cold not one flu not one sore throat, not one anything. But right now, everybody is sick in the family that I'm staying with. Like, the kids are sick, my wife is sick, my baby Onyx is sick, everyone's sick, they're all coughing and runny noses. And yesterday I had a sore throat for like an hour in the daytime, and I said, okay, I know me, I'm gonna have a sore throat for an hour or so and then it's just gonna go away and not come back. And that's because I don't get sick. But it, uh, it, and, and that's what happened. I had a sore throat for about an hour, it went away, and then I ate fried chicken for dinner and the sore throat came back with a vengeance like right afterwards. And it was just so obvi obvious that me eating the fried chicken just screwed myself. So the plan today I already feel better in the morning and the plan today is just is to fast. I'm not going to eat anything. I'm not going to feed the sickness. And then hopefully by tomorrow I'll be healthy again and then I don't think I'll I don't think I'll count that as being sick or it is, but it's just you know, like everybody in the family they're sick for like days on end already. And if if it only is a single day for me then I'll be happy. So this is the closest little town to our hotel.